A COVID-19 swabbing exercise is underway at Block 506 Hogang Avenue 8 for all those living there. Now, this comes after several residents tested positive. Earlier today, barricades and chairs were being set up at the void deck. Block 506 has 12 storeys and 116 units, and residents will be progressively swabbed floor by floor. Along with Leader of the Opposition and Aljunit GRC MP Pritam Singh, MP for the ward Gerald Giam was at the block today speaking to residents and staff. We've, talked, we've spoken to a few residents as well as the shopkeepers of the, of the flats nearby. So there are concerns that, um, that uh, because they don't know how many uh, cases there are, over here, so they're, they're worried about uh, their own health. Uh, but I've assured them that the number of cases is small and they just need to comply with the instructions given by the, the officers over here and by, uh, by the Ministry of Health. I've we've told the shop owners also if, if there's a need to shut down, the officers will instruct them to do so. Until that, that time, they, should, they can just continue operating. We've also told the residents that um, they should try and stay indoors as much as possible. Uh, I, I've spoken to some who said that they were actually supposed to go to work today, but because when they heard the news, they decided to stay at home to minimize the spread. And I think that's a very responsible thing that, that they've been doing. This is the first time an entire block is undergoing a mandatory swab test. Last July, 58 households in a Tampanese HDB block were offered testing after nine cases were found there. Well, here with the latest on what's going on at the Hogang Block is multimedia correspondent Yo Sam Jo. He's at Block 506. Hello, Sam Jo. So, swabbing has been going on since around 1 p.m. today. The exercise will happen today and tomorrow. So, what have you observed? Have, is it a steady stream of residents getting their tests? That's right, Olivia. Well, as you can see behind me, uh, the queues of residents, you know, getting in line to get swapped have pretty much slowed down just like the rain and um, news only broke last night and you know some of them are maybe at work um, and they're only testing the lower six levels of this block which has 12 floors today so that might explain why there are not a lot of people here at the moment but swabbing continues until 8 p.m today and resumes at 9 a.m tomorrow so we can definitely expect more people to show up um, especially those from um, the higher six storeys of mm. the block. Uh, we spoke to some residents about the process. Now, many of them, of course, came out dabbing their eyes with tissue, you know, after the swap. And they said that they got an SMS from the Ministry of Health informing them of the mandatory swap test and a second SMS, which specified the appointment time. Um, so every resident apparently is given an appointment time uh, for them to come down so that there won't be too much um, bunching up. Mm at the station here. Now some have their appointments tomorrow but requested to be swapped earlier and were allowed to do so because, you know, as you can see, it's not so crowded here today. Uh, they also shared more about how they are feeling about the entire situation uh, and I managed to speak to some of them. So let's take a look at what they have to say. Uh, my sister received a message from, I don't, I don't know where, uh, but I didn't receive my message. Uh, she told me that uh, the, the residents in this board need to do a sore test. So they asked my sister to come down to do also. Okay. Uh, her appointment was uh, it's tomorrow, uh, but since today no queue so this. I have been working from home for three weeks, so I didn't go out much. So like, I think that I'm still safe, uh, so it's just staying at home. Yeah. So not so worried about that. My friends actually sent me a link from the Straits Times telling me that because he was telling me, oh, this is your blog. So I was like, uh, yeah, what's wrong? So when I read the article, I was like, uh, okay, what's going on? <laughs> well, me, I'm worried. I was worried Why? because I've got my parents who's elderly and I got a son who's only five months. So I'm just afraid that, you know, this virus might, you know, now they say it's airborne and stuff. So I'm just afraid for, for both my parents and my son. Hope there's no one got, got the COVID. Like it's all, all good for everyone. Do not want anyone to get sick and stuff because right now it's really hard time for everybody. Starting is a little bit worried because I feel that virus is so near to me now. <laughs> yeah. So we take this swab test is um, how uh, just give an assurance for ourselves. I think I'm not worried now because I still can feel I myself is healthy and I still got 
the, my taste, <laughs> my, uh, my smell is all still good. Right, so Samjo, as we are hearing, you know, what some of the residents at this block are going through, what measures are being done throughout Block 506? Well, Olivia, I know you can't see a lot going on behind me right now, mainly because, you know, the entire area has pretty much been barricaded, uh, you know, with yellow barricades, steel barricades and covered in white top. So we haven't been able to film much inside, except apart from, you know, the um, setting up process earlier. But you must know a lot of effort has gone into the swabbing station run by, of course, you know, staff members from the Health Promotion Board. Um, the mix the makeshift booth set up behind me uh, were all set up just this morning and inside I was told by one of the staff members that um, there is a, of course a registration booth and four separate sobbing booths inside um, to cope with like you know the number of people here. Mind you there are about 120 households in this block so that's a lot of people to get through um, and you know they on the floor when you peek in you can see uh, yellow tape being used as makeshift arrows, you know, to kind of like direct people and show them where to go next. Um, you, do, you also have designated entry and exit points. In fact, just behind me here is the entry point. Um, elderly residents, I've noticed, have been given priority to enter first and jump the queue so that they don't have to wait for too long. Um, you, you also see safe distancing ambassadors patrolling up and down the block. Um, and some medics on standby as well, just in case anything happens. And you know, earlier, of course, Aljunit GRC MPs Pritam Singh and Gerald Giam were here uh, to talk to residents and those working here. Mr. Giam shared that the town council has cleaned the entire block, including high-touch surfaces. And a second round of cleaning will take place to ensure that, you know, the entire place is thoroughly disinfected. And speaking of town council workers, we earlier also saw just this afternoon um, El Junit Aogang Town Council staff members getting swapped this afternoon. Uh, we could see them wearing their, um, uh, their El Junit Aogang Town Council polo tees, which are super recognizable from afar. So it's pretty much, you know, a very organized, well organized, all hands on deck kind of approach here that we are seeing today, you know, on the, on the bit to make sure that cases here at this block are pretty, pretty much contained. And here's hoping that the results will not be too worrying.